What's up, everyone? Just got back from a little Saturday date night, well, date day, got some tacos, and did a little bit of painting, so I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. I had a strong gut feeling this week that the baby was coming early, and he was going to be here this by this weekend, uh, Saturday afternoon, so that's quickly slipping away, so I might have been wrong there. My original date that I picked from the very beginning was the 17th, so maybe four days left. We'll see. We'll have to see. But yeah, I got to recommend a place. Anyone who's been to Pittsburgh or is from to Pittsburgh, from Pittsburgh, we uh, we found a new taco place called Tacosburg. It's in Dormont, and it was really really good. We, so we started there. We got I got fish tacos. She got chicken tacos. They do like a rotisserie chicken style taco. Really good. Uh, bigger portions. It's a little. It's not like a lot of the new taco places you go to have a very like street taco, street food kind of feel where it's cheap small tacos you get like three four tacos and they're really small this place was uh larger portions a little more traditional in the menu uh but really really good uh they have a three amigos appetizer which was basically you know the three dips their salsa in particular was very uh i i know a lot about food and i couldn't pinpoint what was what was in this that was different they use some kind of peppers that i'm they're very like it was like roasted for sure but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And then they had uh, the guacamole, which this is really interesting. They had guacamole, and it was all the normal ingredients, avocado, onion, cilantro. They had some salt and pepper, but it was like a, I would call it like a deconstructed guacamole, and it was excellent, excellent. Uh, I could tell the bartender was, uh, at first, he's, we sat at the bar. It was like 11 in the morning, 11.30. They had just opened, and uh, it, there wasn't too many people there, and he, he was kind of working by himself. And a customer came to the door, and I guess they have two doors, and one of the doors was locked, and the customer came and, like, pulled the locked door and started walking away. This guy ran from, like, behind the bar, like, ran all the way around, ran out the door, down the sidewalk, and told the guy, sorry, we're open. That door was still locked. I, I didn't realize it. And he actually brought that, the, that guy and his friend. They both came back in. And I was like, there's no way anyone would be that invested in into the restaurant unless it was there. So I asked him after. I was like, is this your place? And he said, yeah, it is. And uh, so I talked to him for a little bit. Him and his dad opened it together. And um, he was super nice. And we talked for a while. I just I couldn't recommend it enough. It's Like I said, it's, it's a little bit more of a traditional flavor. And especially like the queso was like very traditional. In a, uh, but very good. I mean, very, very good. So... That was fun, and then we went to a place we like called Clay Cafe, which is a pottery p painting place. I painted this uh, this bowl that I tried to... We'll see how it comes out in the pictures or videos I'll show here. The colors are a lot lighter than the look when it's done. My idea here was that it's going to look like a rock, so the outside's like a dark, dark brown, and the inside's like a dark purple, and then I have like, like lighter blues and grays in there to make it look like it's shining. So you know those rocks that like open and they have all like the crystals inside? Uh, I try to make it look like that. So we'll see if it comes out. My wife made a, a pickup truck for our son's room for when he's born. So one of his first gifts when he's born will be this little pickup, which we'll be able to pick those up next week. So I'll give you guys an update on on how they came out and how they looked. Um, but other than that, really cold in Pittsburgh right now. Uh, we got a little bit of snow last night, but nothing crazy. But it's like 25-ish, super windy, and it's going down to like the single digit temperatures for like probably like the next week or so so when he comes if he comes the next week it's gonna be it's gonna be cold so hopefully uh hopefully he'll, he'll be able to stay warm in his new car seat but other than that yeah that's pretty much it i had a like i said I had a strong feeling he was coming this weekend um, which my initial predictions were later than this but the way the doctor talked to us and the way my wife was acting i was like he's coming i just know it i just know it but we're coming into saturday afternoon and he's not here yet so i would say uh I was probably wrong. We'll see. Maybe, hey, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, he might be here. So we'll see. If not, my initial guess from the very beginning was the 17th. So I've got four days uh, to be right or wrong. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, yeah, officially deleted Instagram as far as uh, I was talking about in some of the last posts. Clean slate. Just going, um, going to this year with less social media. Uh, less social media history, I think, is a is a big piece of that. Not just having less accounts, but just getting rid of the dated history that I, what do I need it for? What's it there for? I really thought about it. I was like, what does Instagram bring to my life in a beneficial way? And I couldn't think of anything. So so we'll keep you posted. And like I, like I say in most of these videos, the most of the updates, we're just in the countdown right now. So when the baby comes, that's when 
that's when the real stuff starts and the adventure starts and I'll be I'll be sharing that that whole thing with everyone so <laughs> we'll see if I if I do well or if I crash and burn we'll, we don't have too long to find out so I'll see you guys all real soon